Oh, here we go. So I am super, super excited. Massive shout out initially before I open this. I haven't even had a look in the box to Saddleback who have provided me with this wheel. Saddleback support the team. They're the main sponsor for the team that I race for, T3 Triathlon. Please check out Saddleback's Instagram page, I'll link that in below, but also their website, I will link that below. Incredible company, um, they supply some really, really top end products and they've managed to support me with this wheel. I'm borrowing it, it's not my wheel to keep, uh, but I'm really excited to test it out um, at the time trial that I'm doing in a couple of days. So fingers crossed it all goes well. Right, let's, let's just get this thing out because I know you guys are looking forward to it. Or I definitely am, I hope you guys are. So it comes with this bag, uh, which I'm guessing is just like rim tape, stuff like that, skewers, valve hole covers, all of that stuff. All the important stuff, but to be honest, we're not interested in any of that. We wanna get this thing out. Oh. oh, stop it, just stop it. Look at that. Initial thoughts, this thing's light. This thing is very light. I used to have a disc um, and I got rid of it. Um, and this is far lighter. Obviously it doesn't have the cassette on, doesn't have tires on, but, or a tire on, but still. Look at that. That is just closer to the camera. That is the most stunning thing I think I've ever seen. If that doesn't make you a little bit hot under the bonnet, I don't know what does, honestly. That is up there. That's naughty. <laughs> wow. Man, you can tell I'm super excited. I've forgotten even what to say. I'm a little bit speechless right now. This is incredible. I love this. Uh, so, again, thanks to Saddleback. Thanks so much. This is the first video, the unboxing video. The next video will be the race video. And then the video after that will be the review video. If you haven't seen my last video, I'll put a link to it in the cards above. And I talked about how to deal with failure. Um, and the reason why I'm mentioning that is because in that video, I asked you to come up with some jokes and put them in the comment section below. And in the next video, I said that I would read out those jokes. I'm not gonna actually read out the jokes in this video. I wanna keep this video quite uh, serious because um, Saddleback have uh, provided me with this incredible wheel and I don't want to, um, don't wanna, don't wanna say anything too inappropriate in this video. You know what I'm like? Uh, I don't wanna say anything too bad. Uh, I will actually be mentioning the jokes in the next video and that gives you guys a little bit more time to come up with some jokes because I released the video yesterday and I'm filming this video today so you've only had one day to comment some jokes. People keep commenting like the most hilarious things and I wanna give you guys a little bit more time so I will be, and I promise, I will be calling out those jokes but in a future video. I wanna keep this video quite professional. One of the things that Saddleback wanted to make sure that I mentioned was the MV instant protection, the lifetime protection that you get with any of their wheels or their products. You actually, if you crash or if you damage your product or anything, send it back to Envy, they replace it, no questions asked. Now that is how confident they are about not just their wheels, but all their components and everything. They give you a lifetime protection, which is incredible. I think Envy probably were one of the last companies, wheel companies out there to to get a disc out, to promote a disc, to, to go, oh, we're actually making a disc. Now, the reason for that, um, and you'll find this, you probably find this quite interesting, I find this quite interesting, is, well, A, they wanted to make sure that it was the best wheel possible, so they took five years to develop this thing, they developed it with AMG Mercedes in their wind tunnels, I mean, they, they went to town on this thing, but also, in real world conditions, at slower speeds, that wheel set behind me, the MV7.8, is actually quicker, okay? So they were actually reluctant to create a disc, but everyone kind of wanted one, because everyone loves a disc, they look bling, they sound cool, and I mean, the science behind them, yeah, they do end up moving you faster at that higher speed. So what MV have said is that this wheel is quicker at 27 miles an hour or above. So that's pretty damn quick, okay? And they've said that anything lower than that, the wheel set behind me is faster, okay? So basically, if you want one of these things, you need to be pretty shit hot on a bike, otherwise you're not gonna actually get the benefits. The amount of technology that went into creating this thing is actually phenomenal, and I read through uh, on the MV website and the Saddleback website 
honestly, uh, it didn't really make sense to me. <laughs> um, I just, yeah, that kind of that stuff just went straight over my head. Sounded incredible, and basically, from what I gather, because of the incredible uh, technology that's gone into this thing, that's how they've made it so light. So it's actually. 1,225 grams. The internal rim width is 18.5 millimeters and the external is 27.5 millimeters. So it's a very wide wheel. You can set it up tubeless or clincher um, and to get the most out of the wheel, they recommend that you set it up tubeless, uh, not only because of the puncture protection, but also the fact that you get less rolling resistance and it's also just a more comfortable ride as well so tubeless is definitely it's the way forward but i'm going to be setting it up clincher because it's not my wheel <laughs> i've set up a tubeless wheel before and i have fucked it up quite badly got tubeless sealant everywhere and because i need to send this back to saddleback i don't want to send it back with tubeless sealant all over it so i'm going to set it up clincher i've got some 25 mil 5,000 uh, tires, which are pretty much brand new, so they should um, they should complement the wheel quite well. With the MV um, rim brake wheels, you get this textured brake surface, which actually, from experience, because I've got it on the 7.8s behind me, is fantastic in the wet. Normally, people are a little bit concerned about riding uh, carbon brake surfaces in the wet because normally they're a little bit shit, to be honest. But with MV, you get a textured brake surface. The uh, the shoes that they call them, the brake pads, they're actually a little bit of a harder compound. It means that they don't wear out too quickly, but they're still incredible braking performance. But this thing also comes in as a disc brake model. So you guys out there with a disc brake TT bike will also be able to use this thing. So the dogs come in to admire the wheel. <laughs> Mate, I'm making a video. Do you want to... You need to be traveling over 27 miles an hour to feel the benefit from this thing, which is a nut speed. I mean, normally over 70.3, you're not going to be, unless you're one of the top dogs, you're not gonna be traveling at that speed. But if you're a time trialer and you're pretty shit hot on a bike, you might be going near those speeds and this could be a good option for you. It could be a good purchase. Last bit, and I know you guys are wanting this. They do this on GTN, GCN the sound of the wheel. I haven't actually tested it yet. I've been waiting to test it right at the end of the video. I know that this wheel sounds fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is actually compare the 7.8 noise to the disc noise. So let's give that a go quickly. Oh. crazy hot today i think it got to like 28 degrees or something is ridiculous anyway just got back from melksham cycle center they helped me out um with the the cassette moving the cassette over from the wheel that i've got and honestly this thing looks naughty it's incredible you ready here we go there she is look at that thing just look at that detail on there. Oh my God. That, I mean, <laughs> Saddleback, you'll be lucky if you get this back. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Damn, that looks phenomenal. I don't think there's anything wrong with that bike right now. Apart from the small chain ring, but we'll bow over that bit of a further treat for you guys i wanted to get you to listen to this thing and hear what it would sound like when you're actually out on the road because earlier i couldn't spin it that quickly and this thing honestly sounds phenomenal <laughs> Probably the best noise I've ever heard.